Hello everybody, this is the Milwaukee Fuel quarter inch impact driver model 2653-20. I've been having some issues with it after purchasing it used. The trigger when depressed will make the light come on on the LED here and it will show the LED on the speed selector as well down here however it will not actually turn the motor I researched and I found some other videos online showing how to open up the impact driver and people saying that it was the trigger and other various things however none of these things seem to work um, I took it apart myself and I looked at various things and ultimately determined that there's an issue with a solder connection which I am going to show you. So after removing all the screws there's screws on both sides there's approximately a dozen screws altogether. The unit should come apart fairly simply and we'll be looking at something like this um, I ended up putting the battery back on the unit and I found that the actual issue was coming when I moved these wires down here didn't matter that the connector to the battery was making firm contact or not it was strictly when these wires right here were being moved that the thing would lose power no matter what Sometimes it would lose power and as soon as you you tried to use it again, it would start working again. Other times it wouldn't work at all no matter what you did. If you shook it, you tapped it on the floor, removed the battery, put the battery back, didn't, didn't make a difference. Pretty annoying. Needless to say, upon inspecting, I found that the connector down here when wiggled with the battery connected would make the impact stop working. As you can see here there is shrink wrap heat shrink sorry on the connections to the terminal block which the battery connects to. I determined that it was the red connection let me turn this around here that had a bad solder connection so I took a small razor knife and carefully cut the heat shrink tubing off of it and the wiring loops through the terminal from the one side to the other and where it loops through is supposed to be soldered. Sorry for my camera not focusing. Anyways, ultimately all I did was take a soldering gun and heat up the solder and add a tiny bit more solder to make it make contact with the terminal block. I didn't bother putting the heat shrink tubing back on as there's nothing else here that can really short against it and that would involve taking the wire completely off and sliding new heat shrink tubing on it. Anyways after doing that I put it all back together and it works flawlessly. So I'm just putting this out there in case anybody else has the same issue. I had taken this drill to the Milwaukee service center which is close to my house and they told me it was beyond the warranty period and they wanted over a hundred dollars to repair it and they said they would have to repair um, essentially this circuit board and all this wiring here to the terminal block this seems like a much easier fix just to peel off that heat shrink tubing check the connections and re-solder if needed Unfortunately, I made all the repairs before I filmed this video, but I just wanted to help anybody else out in case you're having the same issue as me.
I'm assuming this is not just an isolated one-off problem, but who knows. Hopefully this solves your issue.